Hey, Maya, you're having trouble. Calm down, Tina. What's wrong? What? You haven't known anything yet? No. Look at this. Oh my god. How dare he put some horns on my head? I need to come teach him a lesson. Hey, hey, calm down. Don't run too fast. How could I calm down? Do you need me to come with you? Don't bother. I need to practice more and harder. I will become the king of soccer in school. Ouch, who did that? How about king of the douche bag? What, Maya? What are you doing here and why did you do that? You can still ask why. What do you say about this? Oh no, how did she get this? Aha, I have an idea. I, ah, uh, listen. We were making a video to upload it on YouTube. Jenny and I were the main characters. What? Aren't you lying? No, why must I? I love you, Maya. Come, let me hug you. I'm sorry, I was so childish. It's okay, I love you, no matter what. Ha ha ha, she is so easy to fool. After that. Hey, how was that? Nothing, everything is still fine. What do you mean? They were just acting for a YouTube video. Is that what he told you? Yeah. And you believed him? Yeah. Hmm, I really hope that he told you the truth, because... Stop it, Tina. I'm sure he is not that kind of person. Okay, okay. Meanwhile, Tony... Jenny, we need to be more careful with our relationship. What do you mean? I don't know who did that, but a random guy recorded the video I kiss you. And it was leaked out. Maya went crazy when she saw it. Oh dear, no big deal at all. We will public our love anyway. Yeah, but not now. I can still take advantage of her for a little longer. Ouch. Fine, then let's break up. You can come to her, you shameless. What? what? This time you can't deny it anymore. Tony, tell her the truth already. Whatever, we will break up as you want. The truth is I've been using you the whole time because you could help me with those exams. Now you're useless now. Fine. Enjoying your new relationship. You both will get your karma. Luckily that she wouldn't dare to keep messing with us. Don't get it wrong. You're not worth it. Besides, touching you both only put some dirt in my hands, you boyfriend stealer. Hey, how dare you insult me? Okay, okay. Don't mind her. At a random place on the street. Maya, my god, are you okay? Where have you been? I'm sorry, Tina, I should have listened to you. It's okay, okay, I'm always here for you. Thank you, but you should leave me alone now. That would be better. No, I must take you home. No, leave me alone. Okay, I'm sorry, but please text me when you come home. Oh no, this is not good. I need to tell Mr. Nigma at Maya's house. Hi, Maya, welcome home. I've prepared your favorite dishes. Let's have dinner. Not now, Dad. Please leave me alone. I need some quiet. She's really not okay at all. But I still have to pretend that everything is okay. How annoying. Okay, go back to your room and take your rest. I will bring you some food later. Screw you. You will all get your karma. I love you, Tony. You know how much I love you. It was her boyfriend that made you like this. You insolent boy, I'm gonna make you pay. I hope you will be fine, Maya. I wish I could do something to ease you now. Later that night. Oh, midnight already. I can't go back to sleep. But that's not a problem. I got a plan. I will go to the bar right now. But let's hope dad is already asleep. Taxi. Hi, where would you like to go? Madness and night bar. Okay, get in. Here's your money. Thanks you nice tip. Inside the bar. I will have a martini. Hi girl, why are you here all by yourself? Wow, this guy looks amazing. I had a crush on him already. Girl, am I bothering you? No, come sit with me. Haha, ha, thank you. You look so pretty. But why are you here alone? Bad things happened. I don't want to mention that again. Okay, I'm sorry. I must say you are such a witty and charming guy. Thanks, I'm Maya. And I'm Peter, by the way. 
Nice name. Wanna keep in touch with me? Sure. What a good idea. After a few hours of talking and drinking cocktails together, Peter took Maya to his home. The next morning. Oh, oh where, where am, am I? I? My head. Huh? huh? Whoa. Ridge. Who, who are you? How did you get in my house? How am I supposed to know? You took me here. I'm not 18 yet. Have you done anything to me yet? You're lying. Look at this. Oh no, this is not good. I will report you to the police. They will deal with you. You can't do that. I think I can. Look at this video. My god, so you set me up. Give me that video. No, it's not gonna be that easy. But I can make things easier. What do you want? I want you to be my boyfriend for two months. Why? Because you look so fancy, handsome and you are an adult who can control your own finance. My ex is going to be jealous when he sees me staying by your side. So I'm just a pawn of yours? No, I like you. And you like me too, right? Let's just treat each other naturally. I'm going home, see you later. And please don't try to run because I'm the one who's holding the knife now. Great. My life was just messed up because of a random high school girl. Back to Maya's house again. Where have you been the whole night? Do you know how worried I was? I'm sorry, Dad. Maya, are you okay? Your dad asked me to find you, but I even I couldn't contact you. What happened? Nothing at all. I just went to a convenience store and drank some light cocktail. My mood is now getting better. I promise I would never do this again. I love you, Dad. And thank you, Tina, for always be my good friend. Hum, fine. It's good to see you unharmed like this. Yeah, you're getting better. Get in. I will make breakfast for you too. Thank you. In Maya's room. Hey girl, do you want to tell me something? No, what do you mean? Tell me, what made you have a better mood like this? Well, you just need to know that I'm in a new relationship now and I will have my revenge soon. That's interesting, keep saying. Nah, not now. I will tell you later. Another day. I'm coming. Hi, Peter. Maya, what are you doing here? What kind of question is that? I'm your girlfriend. Who said that? Hey, mind your attitude or we will meet at the court, Peter. Fine, come in. Thank you, I will cook you dinner today. How is the food? Very fine. Okay, it's good that you like it. Now I will say it straight to the point. I want you to care about me more and spend more time on me. Pick me up from school every Monday and Saturday. And we will go shopping or go to the cinema together every Sunday. Little girl, I'm 30 now. You're supposed to call me uncle instead of commanding me. I am so busy earning money because I am an adult. And you know what? Adults need jobs, and they are also afraid of losing their jobs. Come on, don't be so tense. I'm sure you can balance everything, right? I love you, Peter. Hey, I said that I love you. Okay, me too. I will pick you up from school tomorrow. You are awesome. Tomorrow at school. Where is he? He should be here now. Maya, get in. No. You should get down and open the door for me. How annoying. Here, get in. Thank you. Hey, is that Peter, my cousin? Hey, Tony, why are you looking at her like that? You still love her? No, but that guy looked like my cousin. Maybe she's dating him, and that annoys me. Don't make me jealous. Okay, fine. We're at your home now. Thank you. See you later. Okay, bye. Hey, who is this guy? My new boyfriend, Dad. Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Hum, how long have you been dating? About two weeks, sir. Okay, nice to see you too. Drive safety. Thanks you. Good evening, sir. Maya, how old is he? He's 30, Dad. Oh my god, so he is 12 years older than you. Yeah, it's not a problem anyway. He is a mature man so he knows how to treat me. And I'm sure he's better than Tony. Okay, but you should be careful and know how to protect yourself. Understand? Yes, Dad. One day at the cinema. Peter, have you bought the ticket yet? Yeah, I bought it. Thank you. Cousin, is that you? Tony? Oh, is she your girlfriend? 
Yes, I am, and I'm sure you are so jealous now. Why? Because Peter is a lot more better than you. Ha ha ha, how hilarious. In case you didn't know that I'm telling you this, he's my cousin. He is a bad boy. Stop it, Tony. No, let me finish it. He is not a faithful me, you know? I will see the day that he kicks you soon. Cousin, I didn't expect you to be so miserable now that you have to love a girl who once had a boyfriend. Baby, let's go inside and watch the film. Okay, Jenny. Excuse us, brother Peter. And, oh, oh, your pity ex is here too? Let's go, don't mock her. She is not worth it. Yeah. Tony neither looked jealous nor suffered at all. It seems like your plan did not work. I don't feel so good now. I'm going home. Okay, I will take you home. Don't mind that. That evening. Hey, are you okay? No, leave me alone. What do you mean? We've been together for a month. I have feelings for you too. I love you, Maya. But I don't love you now and I didn't love you then. What? You didn't do anything to me that night. I just set you up. So I was nothing more than a pawn to you. You can say so. Let's stop meeting each other. Thank you and goodbye, Peter. What? No? Maya then blocked Peter after that. And a few days later. Hey, you know what? What is what? Tony and Jenny broke up. Why? He caught her flirting with another boy and even kissed him in front of his face. Tony lost it and was dragged into a fight. I have the video. Who on earth is he? How dare you put some horns on my head? No man, it's not like what you think. Shut up! Ouch. Don't ever show up in front of my face. Wow, it's amazing. But I don't feel comfortable anymore. I dragged an innocent into this mess. I need to apologize to him. See you later. Okay. Maya unblocked Peter and went find him. Maya? Peter, how are you there, Days? I've been looking for you. I missed the part. Where's that your problem? I'm sorry. Can you please get back to me? I love you. Cut it out. It's not working anymore. You set me up and used me as a pawn. And when you couldn't use me anymore, you tossed me away even when you knew that I love you. By the way, I love someone else now. What? Who? I don't have to let you know. And don't even think about using those fake proofs to make me come back to you. Otherwise, I can sue you because of slandering me. I will never do that. I just want to say sorry. Good. Darling, who is she? Just a stranger. I don't even know her. Okay, let's go. Yeah, baby. In the end, all wrongdoers paid the price. Never take advantage or do anything wrong with someone in love. The end. Hi, hi. What are you doing here? I want to send my daughter here. I'm a single mom and I can't afford to take care of her. I don't want her to suffer anymore because of me. So I want to take her to this orphanage. You want to send her to us? Right. She is only 11 months old. If she continues to be with me, she will only suffer more. I don't want to see her cry from hunger anymore. I understand. You follow me to do the procedure. Okay. Can I ask what? Of course. Feel free to ask. When I have enough conditions, can I come back here to pick her up? Of course. You are her mother. Really. Thank you very much. Please help me take good care of her. You can rest assured. We will take good care of her and take care of her. Thank you very much. I will definitely be back to pick her up. We will take good care of her until you come back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nothing. That's our mission. There are so many people who bring their children here and never come back to pick them up. But I believe you. You will be back. I promise I'll come back to pick her up. I will try to go to work and earn a lot of money to pick her up. I know. I'll leave her with you. I have to go now. Okay. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Tomorrow. Hi. What's up? I see the store has employees. Can I apply? Sorry, but you don't seem right for us. Why so? I will work really hard. Please give me a chance. Looks like you're beyond your age. We just want to hire young people only. Please give me a chance. I will definitely work hard and I promise to work hard to do everything you want me to do. Please accept me. 
I really need this job. But you don't seem right for us. I will try to work. Can you give me a trial for one week? If you find me unsuitable, then you can fire me. Do you think this comment is okay? Hmm, I can see it too. I will give you a trial for one week but only for half the salary advertised on the advertisement. Okay, thank you. I will definitely do well. Okay, now you change your clothes and go to the kitchen to wash the dishes for me. When there are no customers, you will be in charge of washing dishes. And when the restaurant has customers, you must record the customer's order, bring the food to the customer and clear the table after the customer has finished eating. Do you understand your job? Of course, I will do a great job. Okay, you want to go do your thing. I know, I have to do well, earn money to bring Anna to live with me and buy her beautiful clothes. For Anna I will do everything. Three days later, Ellie meets Jake. You want to wash the dishes quickly. We are about to open. I will try to do it quickly. You are so slow. If you can't do it, I'll fire you. Not to do so. I really need this job. I will try to wash faster. Hurry up. 30 minutes later. I finished washing. You should go sweep the restaurant. We are about to open. I'll go sweep now. Is the store open yet? Welcome, honored guests. We are about to open. Can I order food? Of course. We are always ready. Here is our menu. Let me order this dish. Okay, I will make it and bring it to you. What are you still standing here doing? You should bring water out to customers. I'll do it now. This is your drink, sir. Thank you. Wow, she's so pretty. She has a very good looking face. Ten minutes later. This is your food. Wish you good appetite. Oh, thank you. Can you bring me another glass of water? I finished the glass of water you gave me. Oh, of course. This is your drink. Ah, are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm okay. Let me wipe for you. What's up? Ah, uh, nothing. It was me who spilled water on myself. Really? What are you still doing? You should wipe him off. Ah, uh, I know. If you need anything, just tell me. Okay, I know. Thank you for helping me. Nothing. That's the right thing to do. You don't need to thank me. I really need this job. I want to make a lot of money so I can live with my daughter. Really? Why do you live so far away from your daughter? I'm a single mother because I can't afford to take care of her, so I have to leave her at the orphanage. Really? You must have been very sad. Right. I miss her so much. I will try to earn a lot of money for her to have a better life. Ellie, what are you still doing? You should go scan the diner. I know. Thank you for helping me. Bye. Okay. Bye. She's so special. One week later. This is your probationary salary. Thank you very much. So can I continue working here? Of course. I will officially accept you. Really? I will try my best. Thank you for hiring me. Nothing. You can leave work and go home. Okay. Thank you. I will buy clothes for Anna and visit her. Hi. Have you come already? Can I see Anna? Of course. She misses you so much. Is she good? She is very obedient. Really? Ah. I got a job after getting a probationary salary. I bought her clothes. Please help me dress her up. Okay. I will do it. I want to buy a lot of things for her but I don't have enough money. I understand. You've worked hard. I can do it all for Anna. I will try to give her a better life. Ah, and here's the rest of the money. You take it and help me buy milk for her. No, I can't get it. Please help me. It's not big money. Just a little bit that I want to give you. I'm not with her, so having you take care of her makes me feel secure. You can rest assured I will take good care of her. Thank you. I will try to visit her often. I have to go now. Okay. See you later. Okay, bye. Two months later. Hi. We meet again. Where are you going? My daughter has a fever so I'm going to her place. Really? You stand here waiting for me. I'll go get the car to take you to the hospital. Oh, thank you. Ten minutes later. You don't have to worry. 
I'm sure she'll be fine. It's all on me. I am a terrible mother. I can't take care of my daughter. Now she needs me the most, but I'm not with her. Do not say that. She won't blame you. I regret not being able to take care of her. If something happened to her, I wouldn't be able to live. I believe she will make it through. Fifteen minutes later. Linda, how's Anna? She's in there. What should I do? It's all my fault. She will be fine. She'll be fine for sure. Right. She will definitely be fine. Doctor comes out from the emergency room. How's my baby, doctor? Who is the patient's family member? It's me. I am her mother. How's my daughter? Her condition is very weak. The body is severely anemic and needs a blood transfusion immediately. What did you say? Why is she anemic? It's because since she was pregnant, she didn't have enough nutrients, leading to a weak fetus. It's all on me. So now we need to give her a blood transfusion, right? Right. We need blood type AB+, plus, but it's not available at the hospital right now. Do you have the same color group as your daughter? What should I do? I am blood type O. Me. I have the same blood type as her. Take my blood. Really? Thank you, Jake. You saved my daughter. Nothing. That's the thing to do. Follow me. Okay. Doctor. Two hours later. She woke up. Thank you for waking up, Anna. I'm so sorry to you. Luckily, she's awake. Right. I'll go buy you something to eat, Ellie. I don't want to eat anything. You have to eat because you are Anna's only relative. You have to eat to take care of her. Right. You've been worried about her and haven't eaten for hours. You are here with Ellie. I'll go get some food. Okay. Linda, 10 minutes later, you should sit down here. She's awake again. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I don't have friends, I don't know what to do. Nothing. You don't need to thank me. That's the thing to do. If other people are in the same situation, they will definitely behave like me. You are so nice. You helped me at the restaurant and now you're helping my daughter. I don't know how to repay this favor of yours. Do not say that. That's what I should do. I am a terrible mother. I can't take good care of her. I left her at the orphanage and even made her sick. I really don't deserve to be a mother. Do not say that. You sacrificed so much for her. Because conditions do not allow you to take care of her, you put her in an orphanage. Even so, it's my fault that I gave birth to Anna but couldn't take care of her. You are the one who brought her to this life, so you shouldn't think so negatively. We are not allowed to choose our parents but we are entitled to strive to have a happy life. I believe Anna will sympathize with you, because the situation does not allow it. You decide to do so. Thanks for comforting me. Can I ask you this? What's up? Why are you a single mother? I'm in love with someone. We've been together for three years. I was always by my side and took care of that man but he betrayed me. He abandoned me and went with another girl. After breaking up for a month, I found out I was pregnant. I'm so nervous and scared because I'm all alone. There were times when I wanted to have an abortion but I was unable to do so. She was there for me when I was at my worst. She is the motivation for me to keep living until now. You're brave. You are a good mother. Can I date you? What did you say? I fell in love with you at first sight at the diner and the more I learn about you the more I love you. But I'm a single mom. I do not deserve you. Do not say that. I will treat you well and become Anna's dad. We will live happily together. Will you agree? Of course. Thank you. 